people to them or it's me touch the gni part and i'm gonna show you how to get that 3.0 for free you can see i'm on, currently running on the 2.2.1 on the ipod touch second generation here it is volume rockers they come yeah let me show you that it's a 2.2.1 and i'm uh i don't have it up and see 2.2.1 I'm not on the 3.0 like an, a lot of people make videos that they're on the 3.0 and they restore to the 3.0 not me I'm trying to do it from the start well right well first you're gonna have to download the files they're gonna be in this description for and when you download them you go to you click shift and left click on restore so you go shift left click and then this this box is gonna come pop up and just go to the file you download on this in, for your iPod touch iPhone or whatever you have and then links are gonna be in the description bar when you download them press open I mean once you you're on this step when the box open just press restore and the shift left click restore and choose the file it's better if you save it to your desktop then it's gonna work this this will happen just let it when you just restore it just leave it alone it'll work by itself all right so here if you're on windows vista it might take longer because um well my computer the windows vista one takes way longer so because it's like installs everything like um the what do you call it installs like uh one system dfu mode installs like everything so i would recommend doing a I would recommend doing it like on a Windows XP but if you don't have it well it doesn't matter it's still good at least I, you do it correctly and don't don't mess around with the USB or anything because then you'll mess up your iPod I almost did it was a terrible fail before it, it was a uh, I moved and I dropped my iPod and the cable got out a little bit and then it said like an error like an error that I had got in before with the iPod touch second generation when I barely got it and I was like oh my god I think I just messed it up but luckily I didn't yeah, so you just don't mess around with the USB that's all I'm saying because then you could mess it up so here I'm just showing you that yeah it's just Installing the new 3.0 update and here is the progress that's being made on the iPod Touch second generation. Okay, here so it's almost done. It's finishing off. Here's almost about to be done and. Just recording like everything so you know like I'm not hiding anything like I'm stopping it or doing it differently just cutting into parts to make it less like a shorter video but I'm not cutting out like big parts so here it's just it's just saying that the iPod has been restored successfully and press ok to continue here the iPod just gonna restart it's gonna turn off then turn on again and just leave it alone still until it's it, it opens like another and like tells you something on the iTunes put your name so still have it connected once you put that in the new software okay here see this is how it's gonna pop up again like if it, if it's it's a new iPod or iPhone. You set it up as a new iPod if you want. 
I just did it for the convenience. Then just put the whatever name you want for your iPod and everything. I just put unchecked everything. And just pre press the apply and see. So 3.0. Or for the blur and, uh, and a lot of movement but I was like, trying to get it the best I could see this is a new feature that's on the 3.0 the backup then when you like what you have just press apply like so iTunes won't open when I connect the iPod touch that's I don't like it when it opens like sometimes I want to charge it this, so here, as you can see, it's new with the voice memo and everything switched around like on the 3.0. So yeah, this is not a lie. I'm gonna show you that this is, I'm currently running on the 3.0 now. And here it is, version 3.0. So I hope you liked it and you learned something and please, Rate, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thanks.